How you doing, everybody? This is Jehoadak Maccabeus, Maccabeus Everyday Survival. Hope all of you are doing well out there. I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain any. Going to be cloudy all week, but we're not supposed to get rain until uh, Sunday. It's pretty cloudy out. But anyway, I've done another oil lamp. This is a bottle lamp. A hobo bottle lamp and uh, it's a pretty unique design and idea whoever came up with it I didn't come up with it it's been around since like the late 1800s early 1900s uh, is what I hear uh, there's is a, there are a couple other channels out there that have made these and uh, I, I don't remember their names but they get the first mention on it uh, but I'll just get busy with it. Let me set my camera over here. This is it. Just a, any kind of little glass bottle will work. And uh, see if I can turn that up a little bit so you can see the top of it. Now what I did, uh, there's people do them different ways. I've seen them made with like an old rifle casing, drill the top out, and they usually uh, had a piece of tubing. Thought I had a piece laying here. Find a piece of tubing, whatever you got, you know, that, that fits on down through there, because you want that thing to be from the the full distance inside your bottle. Okay, and. Uh, what I used was an old spring. It's just like a, probably a 3 8 diameter spring. It was about that long. And uh, I cut it down to the length that I needed. And my wick is an actual wick. I've got this jar. And uh, probably as, as many as you see there still in the building in another container. I bought these back in uh, probably 95 at a thrift store. They was wanting a dollar a piece for each bundle and the lady, they must have been in the store a long time. She sold me everything for a dollar, all of them. So I bought them and uh, you know wicks, they're, they're different sizes and uh, I'm, I'm probably not ever gonna burn up that many wicks through the, I think I have one lamp that's actually that size. But anyway, it's a good investment, the way I see it. So, I took my wick, and I folded it in half. The one I used wasn't all frayed out on the end, but if, uh, we'll just turn it the other way. I folded it in half like this, and I took a, like a bread sack tie. I took two of them and tied them together about that long and tied it around the end of that and fished it up through my spring and it pulled through real nicely and it stayed folded all the way up it folded itself as it slid up in there and then i just let a uh, oh probably about that much stick up you don't really need a lot of wick sticking up and it's kind of tricky to get down in there because if you cut your spring the actual length of this you have to kind of force everything over in the corner to try to get it to sit down there flat and what i done is i went ahead and took off about another oh maybe quarter to three-eighths of an inch of the spring to give me a little distance between that spring and all that wick because uh all that wicks curled up in down in there you see and uh it doesn't burn wick as quick as it does oil. Uh, this one here, um, the, the mixture is real good, I think. But anyway, uh, this is just an old wire hose clamp, really old one. And I, I put it on there for like a little hanger. Um, they always say not to leave them sitting on a table burning or somewhere because they can get knocked over easy. I let it sit 
I made this one. I let it sit here about two hours last night burning. And uh, I mean, as long as the dog didn't bump the table or something. But it probably is a good idea to uh, make you some way to uh, hang it or something to stabilize it a little bit better. As the, um, after I got all of it in there, I took a piece of copper wire like this here and I, the space in bet around between the edge of the bottle and the spring was kind of open to that oil. And I just, I wound my ends tight on this to get it down in there and I started tucking it down in around there to take up all that slack and then cut it off. So, uh, I don't have embers falling down into the oil or anything. It's not really, they're not really that flammable. I mean, it is, but it's not gonna like gonna explode on you. It's just an oil. Uh, this mixture in here is roughly half uh, lamp oil, uh, regular lamp oil, not the paraffin, and half, uh, I don't know if it, it, it was either olive oil. I think it was the olive oil. Uh, I do have some old jugs of vegetable oil. I do a lot of salvage and stuff. So if somebody throws away a half a bottle of old oil that they're not going to use to cook with anymore because it went rancid or something, I save it. I'll throw it in a container and put it in a box over one of my sheds and because that's future lamp oil. Um, am I missing anything? I did make a short and put up with this thing burning. See if I can get this lit out here in the wind. trying to go out if you can see it there and another thing in these modern bottles especially they've got that plastic seal in there to help seal your your lid make sure that's cooled off before you put it on there I wasn't thinking last night and I just put it down on the flame put it out screwed it down on there and it actually melted my deal and uh Okay, I had other bottles. I do tinctures and stuff like that for my apothecary, so I, I save a lot of these little bottles. They're, they're pretty cool. I'll take the stickers off of them. And, but, uh, and if this thing's been burning a while, blow your flame out and let it cool off real good before you put your lid on there. Now, one thing I've seen in the other two videos is they uh, primed their wick. You know, one guy I think used a dropper, another guy used like a syringe to soak that wick up with oil. And I don't really see that that's necessary. You put your lid on good and tight and just turn it upside down like this. It'll saturate real nice, you know. Handy little emergency item to have if you're ever out and about and uh, need a, a little bit of light or a little bit of heat. And, uh, there's uh, aspects of the... Uh, bushcrafter community that make these and carry them uh, it's just a handy little survival item well, i hope you got something out of it that's all i got and thank you everybody that subbed and uh, watched my videos everybody stay safe and you have a good day